Local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good morning, I'm Chris Bavender. Thanks for joining us. Liberty Bowl is home to many regulars, two of whom struck it rich at a recent national tournament. Newslink Indiana's Andy Marquis talks to the dynamic father-son duo. Since 1972, Bob Osborne has been in bowling both as a job and for fun. He manages Muncie's Liberty Bowl and passes on his passion to his kids. Uh, my youngest daughter won the Women's State Tournament in, uh, up in Hammond in about 2001. Uh, my oldest daughter bowls down in Annapolis and she carries about 185 average. So it's, uh, it's a bowling family. Chris is the top scorer in the family. The 21-year-old is taking classes at Ivy Tech, but in his spare time, keeps an eye toward the professional circuit. You know, as long as he bowls like he's been bowling here, he, he's got a damn good chance of making it in pros. The Osbournes were in Reno, Nevada two weeks ago at a National American Bowling Congress tournament. No gambling, but money was won as they placed eighth as a father-son team. The Osbournes won about $7,500, but Chris brought back more than money. And it was nice to go out there to the Reno in the stadium the day after we bowled and see our names on the board. The top 10, you know, Chris Osborne, Bob Osborne, 1381, it was really nice to see that. Both men are competitive, but Bob says he will never get too serious about his favorite sport. In Muncie, Andy Marquis, Newslink, Indiana. And next up for the Osbournes, the Muncie City Mixed Doubles Tournament this fall at the Liberty Bowl. Elwood-based jewelry company Burr, Patterson & Old has been sold. Herf Jones Incorporated, which makes class rings, yearbook, and other graduation products, has bought the company. Earlier this year, Herf Jones announced it would move to a new facility in Rhode Island, eliminating 156 jobs. Herf Jones says the work being done in Elwood would likely be moved to Rhode Island, but no one would actually comment on how many jobs could be affected. Well, now here's Jennifer Cook with a look at our forecast. Jennifer? Thanks, Chris. This morning we're seeing mostly sunny skies. We're seeing our temperature at 62 degrees. Overnight last night we saw this high pressure system move east and as it continues to move east, we're going to see it bring us sunny skies. We're also seeing our wind shift from the southwest, which is going to bring us warmer air for the day today and for the next couple of days. So for later today, we're going to see 82 degrees. So we'll be feeling warmer temperatures right at average from warmer from what we saw last week. We're going to see a calm southwest wind. Chris? Thanks, Jennifer. That is Newslink Indiana. Join us again at 627 tonight for more news. And don't forget local news about local people 24 hours a day at newslinkindiana.com.